Did Interstellar's ending leave you confused? How did Cooper survive falling into a black hole? What was the 5D Tesseract? Can humans really manipulate time? If you have these questions, stay with us till the end. Because today, we are decoding every mystery of Interstellar. In the climax, Cooper jumps into the black hole Gargantua. But instead of being crushed, he finds himself in a mysterious structure, the Tesseract. Normally, anything falling into a black hole gets stretched like spaghetti due to extreme gravity, a phenomenon called spaghettification. But that didn't happen to Cooper. Why? Because someone saved him and placed him inside a dimension where time could be seen physically. In this place, the past, present and future coexisted. Throughout the movie, we hear about unknown beings helping humans. But they weren't aliens. They were actually humans from the future. The theory suggests that future humans evolved so much that they understood the fifth and sixth dimensions and could manipulate time. In other words, it was future humans who built the Tesseract to help Cooper send a message to his daughter Murph and save humanity. Interstellar's story is trapped in a time loop. That means everything happening was already destined. If Cooper didn't enter the black hole, Murph wouldn't have received gravity data and humanity wouldn't have survived. Pushpin this means humans could influence their own past in the future. According to scientists, time travel isn't possible yet. But if we fully understand gravity, it could be a reality someday. The idea of entering a black hole sounds impossible. But does science agree? According to Stephen Hawking, anything falling into a black hole can't escape. However, quantum physics suggests that small black holes might have an exit. NASA states that if we enter a black hole's event horizon, we might experience time in a completely different way. Interstellar shows how gravity can be used to manipulate time. But this remains a theory for now. In the movie, a highly advanced civilization created the 5D Tesseract, implying they had mastered the sixth dimension. Superstring theory suggests a universe may have more than 10 dimensions. If humans could understand these, we might be able to travel through time or even change the past. But right now, this is just a hypothesis and proving it requires massive scientific advancements. Interstellar wasn't just a sci-fi movie, it was deeply rooted in real science. The black hole Gargantua was designed using real scientific calculations and was called the most accurate depiction of a black hole ever. The movie's scientific consultant was Nobel Prize winning physicist Kip Thorne. Do you think humans will ever control time? Comment below and share this video with your friends.